does camera gear matter in photography? Absolutely yes. Well, hello again. How are you guys? Welcome back to another video. I am Adrian and uh, today I'm at the uh, International Buddhist Temple here in Richmond, uh, BC. Today we're going to take some photos of this beautiful location and I'm going to answer the age-old question Does camera gear matter in photography? In my opinion, absolutely yes. And to show you why it matters, I will tell you three stories from my own experience as a photographer from the past 15 years or so that I think will shed a light on this whole does the camera gear matter debacle. But before the first story, let's go take some photos. Okay, let's cross this crosswalk over here and go into the Zen garden, which is very beautiful. It's even more beautiful in the summertime, but hey, now it's just as good as any. This beautiful bridge makes for a nice symmetry if we shoot it from the middle, but from the other side because I have the building behind me over there and it's gonna look nice with the building rather than just with this empty space over here. Okay, let's see. Do we have people in the frame or not? Okay, so story number one, a long time ago when I started doing photography, I had this uh, Fujifilm FinePix A200 digital, uh, digital camera and it had two megapixels. Can you imagine shooting on two megapixels nowadays? I can't, because when I got my hands on one of these, it was a Nikon D5000 and I believe uh, that was what, 16 megapixels? I don't have to tell you that the difference was astronomical going from 2 megapixels to 16 megapixels it was huge so yeah it does matter the gear because with 16 megapixels you can do so much more even if you shoot a little bit wider you can crop in a little bit to get the subject a bit closer you have more detail you have more sharpness so obviously that jump from 2 to 16 really really mattered so yes, if you're serious about photography and want to take good photos, quality photos, then yes, gear matters. Every megapixel matters. And in my case, every megapixel mattered. Look at this, I see a nice frame with the bridge and the, and the Chinese style uh, temple here. Very beautiful. Now we're gonna go inside the temple. Look at this beautiful temple here. Very quiet and serene. Very, very beautiful place. Look at that building over there. Beautiful.
there's another story I want to tell you about uh, equipment and why I think it's very, very important. So I mentioned about that Nikon D5000 that I bought as my first camera. So that camera came with the lens, the 18 to 55, 3.5 to 4.5, I believe. Anyway, that is the kit lens. And I've been shooting with that lens for a good amount of years, maybe four or five years, until I decided to buy a prime lens because I knew they were sharp and they are higher quality. So I bought the Nikon 50mm 1.8 and even till this day I can't believe the difference in quality from that Nikon 1.8 50mm because going from that 18 to 55 kit lens to the Nikon 1.8 50mm it was huge. I did a portrait shoot with the model and just the quality and the sharpness of that lens I could not believe. Her eyes were so sharp and her face was so sharp and her hair was so sharp. If you think uh, camera gear doesn't matter, let me tell you otherwise. And you know gear is not only important because it gives you higher quality images, it also makes you become a better photographer because as soon as I shot with the 50mm 1.8 and I saw the sharpness and the quality in those images, I thought to myself, wow, what else is there? Because I want to try, I want to get better. And I want to try different camera gear, different techniques. And I think that's why it's important to own better gear, because you become better. So I think that's why it's very important to want to own better photography gear because inevitably better gear makes you a better photographer and ultimately I think that's the goal here. We want to take beautiful photos and a high quality photos. I think we need that extra help that the gear provides us. And this will take me to the last story of uh, today which is about ND filters aka neutral density filters because when I started out using these filters I ordered some really cheap ones from China from AliExpress I believe it was and man they were bad they were made out of this cheap plastic that uh, blurred out my photos they were really not sharp at all color temperature change in the photos they were all purpley and green just horrible looking so uh, after that I invested in some really high quality glass a Hoya filter for my 35 mm 1.8 lens which is very sharp and that made a whole world of a difference because I went from really mediocre looking photos to high quality professional photos and I could finally take some beautiful long exposure waterfall shots during daylight which is what I wanted to do so that uh, high quality Hoya filter really helped me out. Alright, so there you have it. That's my opinion about gear in, uh, in general. If you do want to become a better photographer, if you're serious about photography, invest in some good gear because it will only benefit you in the long run. A good camera body with a higher megapixel count, some good sharp lenses, a good sturdy tripod, a good computer for editing because editing, believe it or not, is half of the photo. I always say that to people. If you want good quality photos, learn to edit the photos. You're gonna see, you're gonna improve. People say it's not the gear, it's the photographer. Trust me when I say this, that uh, is the gear also. I think it's a two-way street. The photographer helps the gear, but also the gear helps the photographer. And everything that I told you today, this comes from my own personal experience. Because the better the gear that I got, the better I became. Like I said, I got that lens, that sharp 50mm 1.8 and I started shooting portraits with it and my photos looked amazing. And that encouraged me right away to do better photos, to shoot better photos, to be better, to become better. So I bought more gear, I bought a sturdier tripod, I bought lights for my portraiture. So every little bit helps if you want to become a better photographer. Don't think that it's only you. Yes, you're a big part of the quality of the photos you take because it's you who handles the camera but if the camera doesn't help you in return that's only so much you can do i hope you uh, liked this video and uh, took some value from it let me know what you think down in the comments because i hear different opinions about this uh, it's not you it's the gear it's not the gear it's you so let me know down in the comments what you think and what's your experience all right coolio that's it for today thanks for sticking with me i'll catch you later peace